Well, dog says we gotta get up backwards home, so I guess we will. Uh, 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 fudge and sickle. Well, I was dumb enough to open a can of soda down here. And I was taking my smoke break. So now I gotta stick it in the pocket so I can. Don't leave my stick down here. Man and a stick are seldom parted. A walking stick's a handy thing to have. Well, anyway, this is going back to our driveway. And as you can see, we ain't snowboat or shoveled or nothing, and we won't. And normally, if this was a regular winter, this was a very light snow winter this year so far. And we only have about a foot of snow on the ground. But normal winter, this would be up to my waist by now, and you wouldn't get this part of the tour until sometime in June. Snow stays on the ground here usually until, in the woods until June. And now we're back out to the driveway. Ah. Oh. So here we go. We go up this, what looks like a little road here. You get to our well. That's another place you ain't getting to until June. Because it's in a gully underneath the house. This is some more of our driveway. And we got brave dog Nika up there peeing as well. She has to do something to justify her existence, I guess. do a lot of walking and less talking right along here but this is kind of the scenery up on top of that hill is where the house is so we'll just mosey right along and see when we get there Well, here we have something interesting. Don't know how good you can see it, but it's a little trail there. And summertime, we go up that way to get to the house. But the snow's over my knees there, so we ain't going there today. And, or anytime soon. That road back there goes back to the back of the property. But like most things, I don't get plowed or nothing. So we won't get back there until snow starts to melt either. Now this way, behind this little clump of maples there, and they'll probably have to go, I guess. Behind there is a place where I'm gonna make a clearing and put in a bigger garden there. At least that's plan A. And now we're turned around going back up to the house. And dead ahead of us is my new truck. And my wife found it and 
said, oh, let's go buy that truck for you. So we did, and it run nice. And trouble is, it don't have any brakes. You see that big hill there? That's why the truck is stopped. Because it got to the hill, and it finally stopped. If you hear that noise in the background, that's the generator. Without that, we don't have electricity or internet. And there's our new house. Still needs some of the windows in it, but... And there's our Kia that we drive now. I don't get no money from them, but... I'm surprised that we bought that new in 2011 and it's still running. And on this road, it ain't, that's nothing short of a miracle. There's our greenhouse. Ain't no sense in covering it now because there ain't no heat in it. And it does get cold up here. There's my new snowblower that I just got last winter and we're getting ready to have snow in a couple of days so I'll cover it up had to change oil on it and change a few other things there's our gas tank thousand gallon propane tank does our heat and uh, runs off uh, the propane so we need a lot of it heat and the refrigerator and the stove and this is a, that little building in front there is a rabbit hutch and there's some rabbit cages behind there that big thing there is the chicken palace and that's left open during the day they can come out and wander around and there's about 20 chickens running about somewhere in the woods by now and in the summertime they keep the place tick free now that's our collection of dead generators uh, generators don't last all that long up here and that's my generator shed and the worst idea was ever conceived of a man the walkout sliding door in the basement and sounds like a damn good idea at the time but I'll tell you what it's a mess trying to get into and out of It's always just a little, about two inches too narrow for everything I gotta move in. If I wanna pull the generator in or out, I can't do it because it's two inches too wide. So, generator works, gets done out here. Well, here's the chicken. And we got one out there that's busily doing nothing. And one of our I don't know if you can see her or not. One of our does. And there's some more chickens in the background there. That's our herb garden here. And last year it snowed early and often and those metal fence posts there, the ones we had in last year, snow comes so fast, hard and heavy that it broke the poles off. I've never seen that in all my life. And it's just a pile of scrap wood. You'll sure get that. There's my wife taking stuff out to the compost pile. And now we're heading up here towards the back door of the house. And there's one of our chickens. We raised that lot, the white ones with no combs. We raised them from chicks and earlier this year and they still think they're chicks and they want to be picked up and hugged. And 
them red ones over there they're just opposite they don't want nobody to touch them and this is our back porch and I like to sit out here in the morning and have a cup of coffee look at the garden And that's my wife making like a chicken. And there's my wife saying, Bill, you should have put a railing on here. But uh, there ain't no way to, if I put a railing on there, I can't throw snow off the side there. And on this side, the uh, snow is normally about halfway up the door. And as it is, um, usually shoveling snow up over my head and that's grand tour this far i'll give you a little look around again it sure looks pretty up here in the woods but you got to remember that, oh that's a chicken cone that metal thing when chickens decide to become soup they hop in there head first and cut their little heads off and they bleed out into a bucket underneath there and we're not really having crucifixion day that's clothesline poles that's our compost bin the closest one was our this year's compost bin the middle one is going to be well it'll be this year's compost and the third one will be from two years from now and that's the way we like to compost and that black thing is I got that just for sake of having one I always wanted one but it's kind of useless tits on a boar hog but that's just my opinion down this way is a trail go down to the well and when I told you there was a uh, gully down to the well there you go and that greenest far greenest tree you can see down there right across from that is the well so if we have to go to a hand pump it's going to be ugly and Anyway, that's kind of the tour of the place for right now. We'll show you more later.